welcome back to another Indian wedding get ready with me or makeup tutorial, however you want to call it. Today is green. I was supposed to do purple, but I need to go out and get some purple eyeshadows because I really don't have any, surprisingly. So I'm probably going to do that next week. So yeah, this week is green. I'll show you how to do my makeup and I'm also going to show you how I do my hair for once. Um, it's not my hair routine. I've been loving curly hair lately, so I thought let me show you guys how I do it. I never really managed to get the curls that I wanted. I always struggled, like it would always go like rough and scrunchy and it's never like how you see in the movies you know when it's just soft waves and that's how I really like it so I'm going to show you how I get that this is what it looks like I just really love it because it's just like soft and subtle I did use my Q curling one from Vanity Planet and I also have a discount code for you guys it's normally like $50 but if you use my code which I'll write here it'll be $25 my dog's drinking water I hope you don't mind that um, if you do live in the UK you will probably pay shipping and customs but if you're in the US you, you won't so it's a bargain like and it's a good quality curling wand it heats up in minutes and my curls stay on for days so yeah I've been really loving this this was kindly sent to me by Vanity Planet and I actually really love their stuff and they're so kind to give me like really big discount codes for you guys so yeah but anyways I'll leave all the links in the info box with information on how to get the money off and everything so yeah I'm gonna jump straight into this tutorial so I already have one eye done and I'm going to first start off with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. I love this as a base, It's just it just creates this perfect clear canvas for your eyeshadow to go onto. My cats are so vocal, I'm so sorry. Um, and then I'm setting that with the palest shade in the NYX. Oh my god. Okay, I just gave him a bit of attention and he's alright now. So anyways, I'm going to go into my Anastasia Subculture Palette. I'm going to make this palette work and to be honest, I'm kind of liking it slowly. Um, so what I'm doing first is I'm going, go, grabbing this military khaki shade and just putting this in my crease. It was called Destiny. Then I'm grabbing the shade Untamed which is a dark green and I'm really buffing this into the outer corner area and into the crease. Just making sure that both of the colours diffuse together really well. Um, and to be honest, I'm barely dipping my brush in a product and barely touching my eyelid with the brush. You seriously need feather like motions with me with these eyeshadows then I'm using this darkest green eyeshadow from the palette I think it was called Axis um, but yeah I'm just patting this in I would say on the outer corner first and then slowly blending it away and then I grab my other brushes just to make sure everything was nicely blended and just take your time with it it does take some work with this palette but I don't mind that anyways I'm gonna grab this shade electric at first this was so not pigmented but as I dug into it a bit more it's coming out pretty good like I really really love the shade and I feel like with the green shades and stuff it looks so so pretty I'm just packing this on my mobile lid area and kind of stopping right underneath that crease bone that you can feel on your eye um, and then I just tap it into the greens to make sure they are all blended for my eyeliner I'm grabbing my NYX matte black liquid eyeliner and just doing a simple wing with this and then I'm going to be wiping all the excess away with a makeup wipe curling my eyelashes and then from scar I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensational my Maybelline Lash Sensational mascara and then I'm for my glitter cut crease kind of thing I'm using the Glam Crystals by Collection in Hustle and then I'm just going to create a nice line. This actually makes it look like you do have a cut crease. I just love these so, so much. Then for lashes, I'm using my Vera Lashes from Classy Lashes UK. And I use my Revlon Lash Glue in clear, which is seriously these lashes. Whenever I use my Revlon Lash Glue, my lashes stay on all day. Like, no joke. So after that, I'm just going to grab my Anastasia palette again. And using the shade Dawn to highlight my brow bone quickly. And then onto my skin, I'm using the NYX Orange Corrector around my mouth area first. Just buffing that in. I actually kind of really like this corrector. And then for foundation, I'm using the NYX Total Control Foundation in Caramel. I'm so sorry if I keep using this, but I just love it so much. It's just so good. So I'm just going to dot that everywhere and blend it in with my Damp Beauty Blender as always. You really don't need too much with this foundation but I do kind of add little drops here and there wherever I feel like I need more coverage and I also went back in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again 
um, just to highlight my face and use this under my eyes, clean the eyeshadow up. And then after that, when I was done blending everything, I did set my under eyes with the, what powder did I use, sorry. The W7 Banana Dreams, I'm a bit in the forward right now, but yeah, my W7 Banana Dreams powder, I'm just going to bake a little bit with that underneath my eyes I'm not putting too much and then I'm gonna set my face with the fit me powder by Maybelline in 250 just roughly all over my face and then I'm gonna use my Maybelline master bronze palette and bronze my face with this palette gosh I'm so bad <laughs> um, but yeah I'm just grabbing the darkest color in the palette to just add some color to my skin I seriously love this palette so so much and then I'm also going to dust off the baking powder that we used earlier on. I actually really like this W7 powder, it's so so good. And then I just touched up my bronzer. Now grabbing my Huda Beauty Golden Sands Edition palette. Sorry, <coughs> I've got some saliva stuff. Oh my god, the worst things happen when I do voiceovers. Um, but yeah, I'm just grabbing the shade Tahiti and Seychelles and just highlighting my face as always. You really want a light hand with these because they're so pigmented and a little goes a long way but once it's on it looks so stunning and then after that i'm grabbing this blushy shade from the master bronze palette from maybelline and just adding some blush to my cheeks and then finally i'm going to set everything with my nyx dewy finish setting spray and again you don't need much with this for my lips i'm using the gel cosmetics eye smoker liquid lipstick I felt like this colour goes so well with greens, I don't know why but I just felt like they really suited each other. And these are super long lasting and not sticky at all, they're just so good. Now onto my eyes again, I'm going to grab the first green shade that we used from the Anastasia palette and buff that into my lower lash line and I also went in with Axis closer to my lash line. And then I also use my Urban Decay Coal Pencil, which is a really, really super black one. And I'm just lining my waterline with that. And I also did some mascara on my lower lashes as well, as always. I always need to do that. Grabbing my Master Palette, Master Bronze Palette from Maybelline. Again, I'm using the lighter shade to highlight my inner corner. Now I'm using the NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Cream in Retro Harmony. It's more of like a cooler pink, um, but it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with these and they stay on, they don't budge. And they, they're like not too overly sparkly, they're just perfect, I love it. It's like the perfect lip topper. So that's my makeup done, now onto my hair. Um, I'm going to untie my hair, I had hair, wet hair this whole time, if you guys didn't realise. Um, so what I would just suggest is just go blow dry your hair or let it air dry if you have time. I didn't really so yeah I'm just going to blow dry it and there you go. My This is my hair naturally blow dried. Um, and then I'm going to grab my Q hair wand from Vanity Planet, turn it on. This is a 1.25 inch one which is equivalent to 32 millimeters. It's quite a big barrel but there is another size as well. They have two sizes available. And I'm just going to part my hair into two sections from the back, bring them to the front. And I have to be honest with you guys, I prefer to do sections of my hair super random. I don't like to have them straight, like I just do super random um, hair sections because I feel like before when I used to do them super neat, like it, the curls didn't blend together as well. So yeah, I'm just doing that and grabbing random pieces again. Rather than going across, I'm going downwards when I'm grab grabbing my hair, so it's more... I don't know, I just feel like all the curls blend together, but just grab any hair parting and trust me, when you do it randomly, it works better. So I'm just going to curl my hair outwards from my face and then once it's done, I just kind of like let it bobble in my hand for a bit and then I let, let it go. And it just creates a nice soft wave, I just love it so much. So just up close here you go, I'm just like kind of waving the hair away from my face. And I would say I would keep my hair on the one for like 10 seconds each, around 10 seconds. And I let it bobble in my hand for like 2 seconds. And it just creates a, oh my god I just love the waves that it has, like it's just so soft and natural. It takes so long, actually to be honest, 
before I used to take like two hours but with this with the random parting it takes me like I would say 30 minutes now and by the way these have ceramic aluminium rods if you're just curious and it also has that heat safe glove which is so convenient like literally I don't burn my hands ever um, and it also has a clip free kind of thing so there's no clip as you know like your old standard curlers i actually don't understand why those clips are there so <laughs> i don't know i just prefer one without the clip um but yeah i really love this um curling wand it works so so well and when it comes to the like front of my face i kind of go outwards as well and oh yeah and in terms of price it is 50 dollars but with my code you can get 50 percent off um, with shipping and everything and customs it will be a bit more if you live in the UK or internationally but they do ship internationally um, and if you're in the States like that's even better you don't have to get customs it's just super affordable. I did also brush the curls out all together and I applied some of my Lee Stafford Argan Oil, such a good oil but I will talk about more about it in my hair care routine video but I just go with that in and I also did have protection mist in my hair as well. So that's how I did my makeup and hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more Indian wedding get ready with me or makeup tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so so much and I will see you next time. Bye!